Today in this video, I'll be discussing or showing you a website where you can create different kinds of documents uh, for making reports or for your thesis work or for writing any simple work in a very professional manner. And so we'll be uh, doing some hands on on LaTeX. So LaTeX is a, a free software uh, that is used to make some high quality professional documents. Uh, any kind of documents that you can say um, like it can be reproduced to PDF or it can be produced to images or any other form. So you can uh, create different kinds of documents like reports or say presentations or posters or you can even make your CV. So there are different kinds of things that is possible. Uh, with this LaTeX and so we'll be using uh, this particular uh, tool that is called as Overleaf. So Overleaf uh, is established since from a long time and there are different uh, features involved in um, Overleaf where you can use to write uh, a kind of document like languages uh, in order to create a particular uh, report or some document as you can see uh, with this uh, image here so uh, there are different uh, kinds of uh, things that is possible you can uh, start by using a template and then you can edit on that and there are many features and benefits that is available for individual students or for writing groups teaching universities and so on so we'll discuss each of this uh, in different video series as we go on. There are different templates that is also available. There is plans and pricing. So uh, there are different plans and you can also get discounts on uh, these. But uh, I prefer to go for the uh, free version. So I'll stick to the free version. And uh, there are some documentation and support that is available on this. So in order to first uh, use, you have to register. So I already have a uh, account in this. So I'll just log in to this. So this is how the interface of Overleaf looks like. So now you can see um, there are different uh, tabs available. So I've been already using this since a couple of uh, years back. Uh, now for the sake of uh, creating this video, I'll just explain. So it's very simple. So nothing fancy. Uh, you can see uh, different projects. Uh, when you click on this uh, button, new project, uh, you can see what different kinds of documents uh, or reports you can create. So first is a blank project. Then uh, you can upload a project. You can also import some project if it's present on GitHub. So it basically uses uh, .tex that is tech file in order to source or to compile uh, your particular document. So that is the document language you can say. Then there are different templates for academic journal, books, formal letter, some homework assignment, posters, presentation, project or lab report can create your CV or your thesis whether it's for a master's or PhD yeah and there are many things possible with this so uh, we'll look into some of these uh, in the upcoming videos so first of all let's create a blank project so you have to write or provide a name okay and then just created so yeah you can see uh, when you entered the name you can see this particular kind of uh, portal or the editor you can say so I'll explain that uh, this are the menu so so in menu when you click you can see there is source and PDF so you can get the PDF of this particular document or there is source file. Now uh, there is this important file that is main.txt. So this is the root file where you will write all your source code and compilation for this particular uh, 
document so there are different things uh, that you can delete when you delete uh, you can restore it that will see how you can restore uh, to the previous version then you can rename it so by default it gives main dot text and there are other things that is possible that you can uh, create a new file within this uh, then there are other sources where you can import projects like from mendeley or zotero and there are other sources as well uh, then you can create a new folder if you want to maintain a structure within this or like if you are building a website you know uh, like where to put the css or where to put the html file so similar thing is possible in this and you can also upload a project if you have an already existing uh, tar file or zip file you can directly upload it uh, to overleaf and can uh, edit it on the go so many things are possible and this is the file outline section where you can see uh, what uh, different structures are there so currently in this particular default document you can see only the introduction that's why uh, you are seeing only the introduction thing and yeah so i'll first uh, give you an overview of this so uh, now before that you can see there are different tabs here so you can uh, give for a review so say for example if you are supervising uh, supervisor is accessing uh, this particular document that you have written and uh, you have given him some rights uh, to see uh, if he want to make any modification or changes to your document or if something is not correct so he or she uh, might give you some reviews over your particular document on which line uh, you need to make some corrections and so on so those things can be tracked over here that is av review mm, then uh, moving on to this that is share so in this particular uh, tab or if you are working in a group say for example if you are working in a group of three or five and uh, like you want to distribute your workload uh, of making the document uh, to different uh, people within your group so that they can uh, also contribute and the work is not overloaded on one particular person you can use this feature so it's very handy so uh, once you can uh, have their email ids ready you can put here and uh, give them some uh, edit access so then afterwards you can uh, choose uh, whether they can edit or they can just only read the do document and then you can just share so right now since i am the owner of this you can see my email id and yeah and then uh, you have this submit tab so submit tab will show you uh, different kinds of uh, research uh, portals like uh, say if you want to publish to some ieee conference or acm conference so there uh it allows you to directly submit uh, there so submit as a template or some other forms like say you can see like academic journals or a peer journal uh, like ieee or for scientific data or there are different uh, online repositories that are available some services also there some conferences where you can submit it directly uh, from overleaf and then is a history so like i mentioned uh, if uh, you have a project and that's accidentally deleted uh, you can restore it from this particular place so since i have not made any changes and this is my very first document uh, you can see that uh, right now i have created a particular file that is main.tech and it's simple uh, you can download this project at this version which you are currently seeing okay and yeah and you, uh, if you have multiple versions you can label this version by giving a name so that you can easily track them if you want to restore some older version or if you feel this version is not good or the previous version was good or something like that uh, yeah and then this is a layout so right now we are seeing uh, editor and uh, the pdf both 
so this is the source and this is the output so whatever you write here on this left hand side that you can see on the right hand side uh, then uh, you have only editor option like the PDF goes away if you click here that is switch to PDF if you switch back here goes to uh, editor only and you can also uh, click on this PDF in a separate tab so it opens in a separate tab but here only editor so yeah. these kind of things are possible okay so now let's go back to editor and pdf and let me explain you the very first uh, thing so uh, any document here begins with this particular uh, tag that is document class and since it's an article so you can see uh, that's a document article here uh, then since it's already created by default uh, there are some inbuilt packages that is available so you can use package graphic x for this uh, as you can read here it's required for inserting any images if you want to render any images uh, that also we'll see in the upcoming videos how and what kind of images you should put so that you get the best quality of document and this is the title uh, which uh, I have given that it was here that is my first project or if you want to uh, change anything my first document okay. then once you do this just recompile or you can alternatively uh, press command and enter to compile this okay you can see the changes here and yeah there are other options also here uh, like you can uh, keep an auto compile uh, so it will automatically compile after certain regular intervals of time uh, it will check uh, the syntax before compiling if there are any grammatical mistakes then it will report you and highlight you and uh, yeah uh, and if there are some compilation errors uh, while you make the document or when you create a big document uh, if it encounters the very first error upon compilation then it will not render this particular document so there is this functionality if there are any errors also it will try to compile that particular document that will see what is the difference and uh, we can also recompile from scratch if you wish to okay so and here you can see the logs and outputs so this is a raw logs that you can see so usually this is helpful when uh, you have a very big document and there are some warnings and errors and on uh, which line you have to fix it so those things can be seen here that is on the raw logs so this is very big so right now uh, there are no errors because we have uh, not written anything uh, much in this and yeah so to write the first uh, document this particular title it goes with the title tag okay and then you have a author so it uh, by default took my email id so there is a regular expression behind it so whatever is written uh, after at the rate gmail.com it will take those characters and it will uh, put as the author name so i'll just put my name here and as you can see the compilation is pretty fast and yeah uh, obviously it depends on internet and if you have some internet issues make sure you compile it in a good time or you can keep the auto compile option uh, ticky and uh, then it will just compile it uh, regular interval so that you don't lose any important information or your work that was written some time back and then this is the uh, date so this is uh, the date uh, that is hard coded uh, if you wish you can uh, write uh, today's date also so for that what you can do is okay so it produces same thing 
that is there is a tag by default slash today and so whenever you open this that will render the date of that particular day so you need not hard code okay so in some cases uh, it will be handy not every time and uh, then so this is the uh, beginning document and ending document so this is the place where you write your first uh, or this is where the document gets created okay so begin document and end document so if you comment this so there is no end document without a begin document and there is no begin document without an end document so whatever you write it's between these two so whatever you see here that's between these two okay so this is very simple so uh, you have the title here uh, you can make use of this particular command that is make title so it will make the title if i comment out this you can see there is no title no author information no uh, date or things like that okay so commenting is done with the help of percentage so uh, you can just recompile it again and then uh, it will give you this thing and then you have the section so section is uh, like i've mentioned uh, in the file outline you can see uh, what is the section that is there here that is introduction so uh, if you have um, another one say for example like introduction and say abstract as you can see dynamically it created the file outline so it's pretty fast so if i compile it again you can see abstract here so if i have say for example table of contents i am just giving an example uh, this is not the uh, actual file how it looks like uh, but just to give you an idea how this uh, structure is created so this is how it is introduction abstract table of contents and by default it gives the number that is one two three if you wish to uh, remove this number uh, yeah Uh, you can put a star here so that will once you put a star here this will go away so you need not give any uh, numbers uh, explicitly it takes the numbers but if you don't wish to see numbers you can put star here okay so that is the very first uh, introduction to uh, latex on overleaf so i'll put uh, more new videos will cover different topics on how to create tables and insert images okay we'll make a full fledged uh, report or assignment or some proposal so yeah that's it and thanks for watching